School is back in session and I'm sure we are all so excited about that. I remember so clearly how nervous I was going into my first year of high school, thinking no one was gonna like me, thinking that I wasn't gonna be pretty enough or that I was gonna be all alone. College isn't always that great. People are not always that great. I just want a friend. I know firsthand how much of a difference it makes when you are feeling 100% in your own skin. That's why today we are diving into the world of every preppy skincare brand. Yes, I'm, I'm not kidding. Every single preppy skincare brand. I could eat this. Just kidding, it's glass. Don't do that. That's, that's stupid. I literally have an inside out moisturizer. How cute is that? This is getting awkward. To find out which brand is the overall best skincare brand so we don't have to be spending $60 on a skincare product, you know who you are. We've obviously got some rules to decide which brand is going to be the best. And you actually helped me with this. So, rule number one, the price. So the price has gotta be in this nice range. Rule number two, clean ingredients. Specifically, no heavy fragrances and cruelty-free. Rule number three, the brand has to have a full good skincare because we don't wanna be taking one skincare product from this line. And rule number four, as always, we wanna feel refreshed and very confident in our own skin. I am here finding my best skincare routine that will help me feeling glowing and great, but that doesn't really help you. So while we're on the lookout for the greatest preppy skincare brand, I'm also out here trying to find the greatest routines for you because I'm here to help you. Consider me your big sis. The first routine that we are looking for is one for super dry, kind of a splotchy type of skin. Second is the one for all of those who have the hardest time with pimples. Just so many pimple breakouts, you're super sensitive. Three is dark spotting and discoloration, which is me. So I'm finding that one too. We're in this together. And four is overly oily skin. Starting off with bubble. Starting with cleanser. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love that it's thicker so that it really can do its job of taking off your makeup, taking off, I don't know, if you're in sports and you're sweating and also just the school in general. I literally have an inside out moisturizer. How cute is that? I love that Bubble made some inside out inspired products. So this is the hydrating moisturizer. I also got the overnight hydrating sleeping mask, which is one that you can use if you have a lot drier skin. I love these kind of products. So, so far this fresh start gel cleanser is getting a five stars for me. Well, let's test out their two serums. We're gonna put both serums on both sides. This one is the Daydream Tone and Texture Serum and the Super Clear Blemish Prevention Serum. So I feel like both are gonna be really, really good for different reasons. You could honestly use both of these. And the products in these are not too terrible. I'm honestly feeling really good about them. I remember when I was going into school and I honestly was the most self-conscious person. I was bullied in school, as I mentioned in one of my other videos. Now for this brightening eye cream. It was just really, really hard. And if I could go back and tell 13 year old me, I would say be confident for who you are. This stuff's burning. Wow. We've got the soothing face oil and a balancing mist. I definitely wouldn't say that this is for any of the oily girlies, because this is a oil. Um, although for those who are needing extra hydrating products, I definitely say that this one is for you. This is super cool. That one does smell and it smells super, super good. I think that this is a very natural scent. It honestly smells like flowers. Now let's organize these products into the four categories. We've got a bunch of products for those in the first category, a few products in the second category. And don't worry, I didn't forget about this. I just don't have pimples. Those in the third category and those in the fourth category. Now the only thing missing is the ingredients. And I've got our best friend. Based on these ratings, obviously they got around a 50 out of 100. There's only one product that is at moderate risk. So I'm gonna give them an 80 out of 100, which gives them about four stars. 
bubble, you're gonna make it super hard for these other brands to beat. So the next one we've got is Glow Recipe Baby. If you've seen some of my TikToks, you know that I may have kind of already opened up the package. I was a little bit excited. I've heard so many great things about Glow Recipe and I honestly feel like their products are exactly in the name. Let's see if Glow Recipe can fit into our four rules over here, make us feel confident as ever and become the greatest preppy skincare brand. Starting with the Avocado Ceramide Cleanser. So I guess speaking of price, they kind of fit into the price range. They're a little bit further towards the red zone, but they're still not that bad. We've got three different types of serums here. And I love, this is a guava serum. It looks like a guava. I got this pomegranate serum. Stop, this literally, I could eat this. Just kidding, it's glass. Don't do that, that's, that's stupid. And this one is a strawberry which kind of looks like a strawberry. I personally need a dark spot serum, so we're going to use this one. Okay, this stuff is burning me. It is a dark spot serum, so maybe it is helping with those sides. So yeah, as I was saying, you're going to make friends with people who are gonna be actually really good and beneficial for you. Holy Mother Teresa. I think it was the toner, because I do know that toners will kind of open up your skin kind of or whatever i'm not gonna use this one i have used this one when i first opened it i'm sorry last but not least we have got this watermelon dew balm spf i love this this is really great i usually hate sunscreen face sticks hate them you can see that my skin is very glowy so glow recipe you get an extra point for that because I mean, it's in your name. This one in this category, I felt like it really helped kind of strip the skin. And then these three products for this side. I feel like this line that I was able to buy kind of really fit into this category specifically, but we don't sadly have anything for this category. I gotta say, Glow Recipe, you are starting off strong. I only cleansed my face and then dried it and it is feeling very nice, very luscious. I feel very soft. Next up, I think we use the toner. This stuff is really, really great. I feel like it is not as moisturizing, which makes sense because it is a toner and it smells really, really good, but it isn't one of those strong scents like one of those rules. Price, I'd say it was pretty good. Clean ingredients, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't exactly have my little friend, the app, because I don't have the packaging for it, but I would say I'd give them probably a four as well, just like Bubble. I feel like a lot of their products, when I have scanned them, they have been super clean and they have been super great. So we're giving them that. They have a good full skincare. I would say that they do. It is kind of more focused in towards specific skincares. So if you're one of these three out of the four categories, I would say that it is really, really great for you. I wouldn't say it's as amazing as Bubble, but again, I didn't buy every, every single product, so I'd say it was still maybe three stars. And do I feel good and amazing in my skin? 100%. Definitely five, six, seven stars for that one. So, an overall rating that we've got for Glow Recipe, I'm gonna have to say it's like a 4.5. These products were actually amazing. I've been using them and I feel great in my skin and I know you'll feel super amazing in your skin as well. Next line we got isn't exactly a skincare, but it is body care. Do you know what it is? Can you guess? We've got Tree Hut as our third contender. How are we feeling over here, Tree Hut? Are we feeling good? Yeah, no, okay. All right, let's get testing our Tree Hut. I'm obviously not taking a shower at the moment, so this is gonna be a little bit different and hard, but we're still gonna have fun with it. I'm gonna start off with this Raspberry Fizz Sugar Scrub. I love that they have like, oh my gosh, okay. Let's try this stuff. <gasps> wow, okay, very sticky at first, actually. Oh, okay. I don't feel like it's super harsh on my skin, I will say. Like, it is it is harsh because it is sugar. Um, I'm going to say that they do have more intense smells, but I feel like that's kind of what Tree Hut's thing is. They have so many different kinds of sugar scrubs and lots of different scents and stuff. But I do feel, I love this. I feel like it's got kind of an oil in it as well, so it's not just drying out my skin. This is getting awkward. Let's go clean it off real quick. 
Okay, wow, she is smooth like butter. And speaking of butter, we've got a body butter that is Tropic Glow. <gasps> it smells kind of like Sol de Janeiro. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, it's kind of got a cute little thing in there. I don't know how to explain that. This is definitely a back to school product that you are needing because the price is great. They sell these at Target. So of course at Target, things are going to be not as expensive as another brand that you're gonna see later. I'd say that that product is actually super great. We've also got a firming body oil. So now we're gonna, after our body butter, we're gonna now add the oil. This is, not, this is very personal, so I hope you're enjoying this and I hope you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to join the girl gang. Ah, don't get it on the, it smells so good. And I gotta say, it's got some of my favorite products from Brazil. It's got Guaraná extract, which is a, an amazing super fruit. It's got Cupuaçu, Capuaçu, which did you know that the Capuaçu is a fruit? Don't try it, it tastes kind of weird. It's also got a weird texture, but that's where cashews come from. I didn't know that. I didn't know cashews came from a fruit. Do I feel firm? I don't know, but I sure do look, this is getting real weird, but I sure do look shiny. So if you're looking for that very shiny, clean, crisp legs, like I was always so jealous that like so many girls had that after summer, I'd buy this because it's not too bad of a price. We've obviously got this sh moisturizing shave oil, which I can't exactly use, but I will test it for you. Okay, I want you to comment, what grade are you going into? What are you most excited about? And what are you most nervous about? Okay, I feel like this is more of a gel. It smells so good. It smells so, so good. I mean, I'm gonna be using this. I love Tree Hut already. This stuff is great. My leg is also loving it. The one leg. I'm gonna have to do this for the rest of my leg so it's not like weird. Anyways, whoa. I smell so good. I smell like so many different scents over here. Now we've got the fragrance shimmer mist. This leg actually. Okay, I don't like the spray of that as much. It's very direct. Woo! But I am shimmering. Do I look like I'm shimmering from here? There's glitter! Okay, it smells great. Woo! I'm gonna keep this in my car, always. I wanna be shiny, always. I think you might need this in your emergency kit. You could even, honestly, Take this and make a mini version of it. Do y'all wanna see a mini version video? That'd be fun. And you can put that in your emergency kit. I can't exactly put any of these products into the four categories. I do recommend all of them. I really, really do. I feel like they're great for all body types. They're super great, great products. They're not too intense and not too simple, I guess. Price is really great. The products, I don't know. Let's check. Remember when I told you that, uh, that's my least favorite friend in the whole wide world, that app. Yeah, so these are the ratings. They weren't exactly the best. However, a lot of the products, there were no high risk products. There was one moderate risk product, just like the bubble. I'm going to say because of the ratings, they're gonna, we're gonna give that rule a three out of five. But how great do I feel in my skin? I'm gonna give it a five out of five for sure as well. All right, I know that I said the Glow Recipe has been a fan favorite, but I think this one outbeats the Glow Recipe because this right here is Drunk Elephant Baby. Now, remember in the beginning when I mentioned the $60 products? Yeah, Drunk Elephant, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Drunk Elephant, you better be worth it because, uh, Oh my gosh, let's just get started. I think we might become science experimenters here real quick. Okay, so this is apparently 15% iasorbic acid powder. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, there you have it, kids. Meet Clelea, the science experimenter. Is this what I'm paying for, drunk elephant? However, I do know that this proteiny power peptide can really work as a toner or as a, not a cleanser, but it does kind of strip your skin. So on other products, oh, that could make my skin feel just the same, like the little recipe product, if not better for a third of the price. So you're gonna have to convince me as to why Drunk Elephant is the best, but hot take. I'm not against it, 
Okay, this product does make my face feel so soft. I have not felt this soft. Next, we've got the new C Firma Fresh Serum. This is the vitamin C serum. It's supposed to be brightening, which, I mean, it told me to shake it, but I don't know, I'm just here for the fun. I'm just along for the ride. The products also don't have intense smells, so there's that. Not bad. This is the Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Cream. But this stuff is actually really great. Other than the price. I don't know if we're gonna be able to handle the price on it. Oh yes, my favorite part. Oh, it makes a flower! Which I should probably just, yeah, cause this side's fine. Just kind of weird. Just being honest for you. This is gonna be a hard one. For the stock, for the price, you're definitely on the like very, very extreme, red, hot, awful, runaway zone area. The price, I wouldn't say, I don't know how all the 10 year olds, I mean, they're not just the 10 year olds, but I don't know how, I don't know how so many of these kids have these products because these products definitely did some damage on my credit card. I mean, holy crap. Clean ingredients. Okay, so they've actually got a lot of pretty good ingredients. They're kind of similar to the low recipe. I'd say the two are head to head in the competition in like the quality of skincare. Your skin does feel and look very glowing, just like low recipe. Do they have a good full skincare routine? They do. I only bought these four products. Again, very expensive. I'm gonna say I feel very glowy and confident in my skin. So I'd say it's really good. I'm gonna have to give it a three out of five because the price is still super high. I can't easily buy these products. I could buy this product once, but I can't get a refresh because I don't have $68 for a product. So sadly, that leaves Drunk Elephant a little bit lower. Okay, last but not least, drum roll please. We have got Sol de Janeiro. I butchered the name. Anyways. Oh, if you're still watching, I can't use all of these skincare products. And I know that a lot of you are needing some new products. You're wanting these different products, but sometimes they're too expensive. You just can't get them. I am going to be doing a huge back to school preppy giveaway to a couple of you. They have yet a another one of their mists. The sprays are super great too, I love them. Oh, I need this, I need this in a much larger size. Now we're gonna try the big boys. Actually, I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway because I love you so very much. I'm so grateful for your support and everything you have been doing for me. And I wanted to give back, especially during this school season. I sprayed way too much that time again, dang it. I feel like these ones are lighter scents. Like they're, they're bright. If you could explain a scent, I'd say it's brighter. It's more floral. This one is Shadows of 59. Share the warmth of a sunset with uplifting notes of vanilla or sugared violet and sheer sandalwood. So yeah, you can definitely smell that. Oh, it smells so good. I have the, I think it's the 68, and I'm pretty sure I'm like halfway through it. I bought it like less than a month ago. I spray it every day and multiple times a day because I love it. You need, again, another one of these in your emergency kit, which maybe this one could be for you. So as I was saying, in order to be put into the giveaway, you have to obviously be following my socials, my Instagram, my TikTok, and my YouTube channel. Go and check out the description for more information on the giveaway. Now for number 68. Nope, this is 48. I don't know where I'm supposed to spray this now. Actually, let's spray it on my body. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, much brighter scent. Let's try the deodorant. I love that this deodorant is aluminum free deodorant. All right, that was a lot harder than I would have liked it to have been. This is very cool, very interesting. This one doesn't specifically have a scent. This one I won't give away, don't worry. Wait, it's creamy. Wait, that's so interesting. Okay, I don't know how I feel the most about this. It was very hard to take off and I guess you put a cap on it. Let's try the body butters now. Let's see if one of these can beat that. You smell a lot more of the products inside rather than the scent, but it does feel so 
so nice. Now for the Bongia. I love, I love the names. Oh wait, it shows it. It says, it's a Bongia, a good day for gorgeous skin. I love that. I don't know why all their products come like the second. <gasps> Whoa, wait a second. This is not a body butter. This is the Bongia body scrub. I don't know why I didn't read that. This is cool. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Can I eat this one? Okay, that is so nice. Oh, I love it. This stuff has got, okay, this stuff has little tiny, I wanna say they're pebbles. They literally look like pebbles. I don't know if those are coffee bean remnants, kind of. I would say that this one is a little less intense than the sugar scrub because it's got a little less textures in it. I feel like it kind of just, I wish I could, I could kind of show you, not really. There's definitely that stronger scent of just the ingredients themselves in it. Kind of like bubble or glow recipe. You just smell the products, it, it's scent free basically. And then there's a tiny, a tiny smidge of the scent. Okay, I've obviously got the tiny sets. We have got the 68, which is one of my favorites, as well as the 40. Okay, we haven't tried the 40. So this one, it's gonna be given to someone. But let's try the 40. I love that they come in these little tiny containers. So cute. We obviously have to try. I can smell it already, it smells so good. This one's definitely a lot different of a smell. I do like it, but this one is black, amber, plum, vanilla, wood, and musk. So I think that the vanilla, vanilla is a really good smell, but it's not my favorite. I love the fruity or the more tart smells, but this stuff does smell very delicious. Let's try the Bongia Bright Cream. Okay, wearing, having nails makes this very difficult. I gotta say, there's a lot that comes in the tiny package, that's for sure. I'm gonna just use a tiny bit. Deliciosa. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking nice. Yeah, that stuff smells so delicious. We're gonna have a Bongia. All right, well, we obviously can't exactly put these products into the certain categories. I feel like they fit for everyone. You're not exactly gonna put it on your face. Please don't. They do have intense smells, so they should not be used for your face. That'll be a, a disaster. But all in all, price is not too terrible, I've gotta say. Obviously, you can choose between the like mega or kind of the smaller. I feel like even one of these is gonna last you quite a while unless you're like lathering a ton on, but I feel like a little goes a very long way. So I feel like the pricing is not too terrible. I've gotta give it a four out of, t out of five for that one. I've gotta give it a 4.5 out of five for that one because they are super great. Ingredients, okay, love that. Their products were rated this, which I think is actually not too terrible. Again, some of the products, it's like one moderate risk product and then the rest are still really good. So I'm gonna have to give it a four out of five again for the ingredients. How it makes me feel in my skin, oh, freaking amazing. I love the scents. I feel like they pertain to literally anyone and everyone and the smells that they like, right? Like 42 is not a scent that I exactly adore and love, but a lot of people like that. I really, really love the 48 and the 68, which some people may not like as much. A lot of people like 59 and that type of a smell. So they've got a ton of different lines for every single person. And the pricing isn't that bad. Overall, I think they're also gonna have to get a 4.5 out of five overall rating. How am I supposed to choose the best one? These were all actually super great. Ah! After much thought and consideration, and of course, obviously, the ratings that we got on all of the different brands, I figured that it was only fair that we have two winners because we have, obviously, body care as well as skincare. So, drum roll, please. Thank you. I think that, obviously, Sol de Janeiro had to have been our very best for the body care. I just love that they have such an array of different lines. You can get the 59, you can get the 48, the 68. Now, the 76, they have so many different scents for different people's likes. For the quality is super, super great. This body butter is to die for. Over the two, I had to choose Sol de Janeiro, but Tree Hut is still amazing. You have to go and buy it. It is very buyer friendly, especially for us girls and us teen girls. And you teen girls, you need to get some of that, but also Sol de Janeiro. Now, for the skincare, it was a little bit hard 
but also not that hard at the same time. A lot of the skincare products were extremely expensive and there was one that was not as much. So again, drum roll. Bubble was the winner. I was actually pretty shocked. Now I know that Bubble was a huge fan favorite and we really did the serum some justice from the last video, so don't you worry. But it was very buyer friendly, especially for younger ages just getting into skincare. You can definitely count on Bubble. They have an arraignment. Like I only bought a fourth of the products that they really sell there. Okay, maybe more like half. I did buy a lot from the store. But they have so many different options for different needs and you can definitely count on them. And not to mention, it's super cheap, so you can continue to buy them and continue to keep up your routine with these products. So here are our winners. You need to not walk, go run and get these different products. They are very, very great products, super helpful. I haven't broken out yet, which is a, yeah. These are the products. I really hope that they leave your skin glowing and leave you feeling 100%. I know that you're gonna kill it out there. You're gonna go and kill it in school. It's gonna be amazing. I am so excited for you. And go and check out that giveaway so I can give you some of these products because I don't need all these products and I know you could definitely benefit from them. So check out the description and let's go and hang out in this next video. I'm finishing because you gotta check out this video now.